Good afternoon, everyone. It's Lisa from Lisa Ashton Psychic Medium. Hope you're all well. I'm here to do weekly readings for water signs, November 1st to November 7th. Um, I always start off by doing collective reading from the Wisdom um, Oracle deck, which I really like. Pull three cards for the collective. Kind of see the way the energy is in general for the week. Um, it is going to be a tough week chaotically. The energy around us, I mean, the election is this week. There's going to be a lot of negative vibes. There's going to be a lot of hurt people. There's going to be a lot of anger, resentment, jealousy, all that kind of stuff. So the more you can stay kind of in your own lane this week, water signs, the better you'll be without comparing or talking um, politics, okay? Um, I think we've got, we're all over all the politics we've had for the last few months. I know I am. Um, but I do want you to know, I'm going to read for each of the signs. I'm going to do the collective and then I will do Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the beginning, the middle, and the end for each sign. And I hope you enjoy them. This Sunday night I am running at on Zoom at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm running a half hour Reiki session. And I um, all you have to do to join, I think there's like nine, eight or nine seats still available, is go down below to Donations of Love and pay $25. That's how much it is for the one half hour Reiki session, where um, you'll I'll send you a Zoom. <coughs> excuse me, a Zoom um, contact. You don't need to have Zoom on your own computer because you'll hit the link that I send you in an email. So make sure your email is listed when you pay down below in Donations of Love at PayPal, okay? If you can't pay that well, that way, email me at LLA24, Lisa Loomis Ashton 24, at Cox, C-O-X dot net, LLA24. 24 at cox cox dot net send me an email and then tomorrow on friday when i'm sending out all the invitations for zoom on sunday night at 6 p.m eastern standard time you will get it and just wait until the time six a little before six on sunday to hit that connection and that link for zoom you'll come right on after the half hour zoom session we're going to as a tribe as a community kind of talk about all things that go bump in the night i'm going to try to do this once a month around the first of the month and um, we'll get together we'll talk about signs we may be getting from loved ones in heaven or what to look for for signs maybe you don't feel like you're getting any signs we'll talk about what's happening astrologically we're going to be coming out of a full moon in taurus we're going to be in the sign of scorpio we're going to be ending mercury retrograde on tuesday we're going to be ending mars in retrograde coming up lots to talk about um, but also about things that go bump in the night. Are you seeing shadows? What are they? You know what? So everything that is kind of psychically, you don't have to be psychic to join, but it's a lot of fun. It's very spiritual. It's um, very awakening, and it's really fun to to see uh, your other um, community members here on YouTube. But we'll be on Zoom, okay? So sign up below, donations of love, and I hope to see you all there. So I'm going to get started with the weekly reading. So let's shuffle these cards, the Wisdom of Oracle deck, to find out what the collective is for the week, the collective energy that's around all of you. Water signs, okay? And you saw me shuffle those, right? Because these are the cards, two of the cards are the same as what I just pulled up um, for Earth Signs, which is interesting. So maybe these are, maybe the collective is for the entire collective of all the Zodiac Signs this week. But the first one I have is Time for a Nap. Look at the little fox that's sitting on the moon taking a nap. Isn't he adorable? So Time for a Nap basically means sit, take a sit back. Take a sit back. Don't, don't get involved in any of the disgruntled conversations that are going to be happening. Um, just stay within your own kind of world right now this week, okay? Because that's, there's going to be a lot of um, negativity and a lot of anger. And be flexible. That's really important right now. Um, it, you know, if you need to move to another place, another building and at work, maybe you need to another desk, maybe someone's bothering you, maybe somebody, you know, can't get over the fact of what happened at the election, who knows? But the point is um, try to be flexible. Roll with the punches. Go with the flow. Round and round, this is for all you people out there that continually worry and think about things. There's a lot of us. I'm one of them. I'm a Virgo. 
And this is about like rumination. So we get a thought or an idea in our head and we constantly, we, we work it to death basically. And even after we do that, we come back later and we work it some more and think about it some more. And I think the whole point is to not do that with this round and round card, okay? We wanna get out of our head, we wanna get out of our thinking. Um, we wanna let go of that patterning that we've created for ourselves, okay? So those are really nice energies. I'm going to start shuffling. I'm going to put this down so I can shuffle. A lot of people ask me, how do you know when you're done shuffling? Well, it's by intuition. But when I'm doing the cards, you see how they all nicely came together there? I know because I'll get really nice clean shuffles like both of those were if the cards need to be shuffled. And when they're all done, I just continue to get these nice ones until they tell me they're done. And when they're done, I'll show you what it looks like. Still really nice clean, so they want me to continue to shuffle. Okay, see how that goes? See, when there's something that's a little disruptive in my shuffle, I know they're done, and I trust my gut on that, okay? So they're ready now for you guys. Okay, water signs, let's get started. Cancer, let's put three cards out for you. Okay, interesting, beautiful cards. High Priestess, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is the week starting this Sunday, 11-1. High Priestess, manifesting, bringing in abundance. Look at the blues around here. The waters are very calm, okay, coming into the election time. So maybe you're really good at separating yourself from that. But the High Priestess is all about manifesting, right? Manifesting, bringing in what it is you want. Um, you're very good at it cancer you're very intuitive so i would just work on that and know that that's going to be in your favor and on your side this week for sure okay especially sunday monday tuesday you're going to feel very intuitive listen to your gut don't second guess yourself cancer because i feel like um, the angels are telling me you do that quite often um you don't need to second guess yourself trust the first thing you hear trust your guidance okay that's sunday monday tuesday Wednesday and Thursday, we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. Because if you look at each of the cups, sometimes there's something nice, like the beautiful lilies, the flowers, and there's a dragon, there's a beautiful rose, um, there's, you know, wings down below, there's a castle. I mean, it's illusion and delusion. You don't know which direction to go in on Wednesday or Thursday. You're kind of stuck in the middle and you're kind of waiting for an answer. You don't need to choose any of these right now. Usually in the right away deck, we see a person that's standing in front looking at these and trying to make a decision. And, and I'm hearing very clearly from Spirit Guide that um, you don't need to make a decision about anything. Kind of go with the flow on Wednesday and Thursday and let things ride out, okay? And at the end, you have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is kind of like a melding of the minds. It's working with somebody really nicely. Um, it could be working with a partner um, at, you know, at home, like in a relationship. Um, the blues are here, so the communication's really good and the waters are nice and calm. It could also be working with somebody at work. Look at the beautiful rainbow. It could be working side by side with somebody at work, com completing a project. This is Friday and Saturday's card. So, um, I feel like it's more like relationship-wise or whoever, you, you know, your family, going home to your family over the weekend and, and working things out and, and working side by side with them. Maybe you're planning a move. I hear a few of you are planning a move. So maybe this weekend is the weekend you've chosen to make that move. And if that's the case, then um, it's going to go very smoothly. Okay, Cancer? So it looks like a really nice week for you. Remember, if you're liking, enjoying, give me a thumbs up, please. I appreciate it. And don't forget and um, sign up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Again, they're shuffled enough. I didn't need to do that shuffle. And I was actually thinking when I picked up the cards to shuffle. I don't need to shuffle anymore. I've shuffled a lot. So now we're moving on to Scorpio. Let's see what we have, Scorpio. We have, oh, nice. Okay, so we have the Temperance card right off the bat. Patience. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Patience. Very hard for Scorpios. Um, Scorpios kind of live in their own minds sometimes and don't always share their feelings as well as they could. And um, this temperance card is just being patient, just allowing, um, allowing whatever comes in to come in for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You don't need to shape it. You don't need to form it. You don't need to have a final outcome. Look, she's carrying two cups. One in, I can't get the hands right, but she's carrying two cups, one in each hand. Okay, and one is water and one is fire, the ultimate opposites, right? And you're, you're a water sign. 
So this is definitely, um, it, it's all about not putting out the fire, keeping them separate. It looks like the water's starting to creep over towards the fire. Keep the energies alive, right? But just be patient. You don't need to make a decision about them on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, okay? Wednesday and Thursday, you have the magician, the magic, the miracle maker, right? The infinity sign, equal on both sides. You're the equal force. You might be the person at work that's calming people down if it's right after the election. He has all of the tools at his disposal. He has the wand, the sword, the cup, and the pentacle at his, at his side. And um, he's really able, look, he's putting his hands out like he's manifesting. He's bringing everything forward. And the light at the top is, is showing that he's bringing everything forward. You're the miracle worker. You're the person that can manifest during the middle of the week. So do your thing and enjoy that. That's lovely, Cancer. But at the end of the week, we have the Queen of Wands. Look at all that blue healing energy. It's lovely. The throat chakra, saying kind words, being nice, um, going into our higher power, our higher vibration, keeping the words nice, keeping the, um, the kindness out there all the time. But she's definitely a woman who knows what she wants. Look at the look on her face. A queen of swords. I didn't mean to say queen of wands. I'm sorry. She's definitely a woman uh, who knows what she wants, and it's upright. So there's nothing wrong with this. Look at the waters are calm be behind her. She's standing in her own power. She knows exactly what she wants. And there's nothing she needs to be concerned about. Okay? She's ready to fight if she needs to. This is a Friday and Saturday card. But I don't think that you're going to need to fight. I don't hear that at all, Scorpio. I mean, Cancer. Oh. Yeah, Cancer. I don't hear that at all, okay? No, this was Scorpio. Gosh, talk about Mercury retrograde. I'm a Virgo and it is affecting me. I had to think about it for a second. Sorry about that mistake. So this is Scorpio. Maybe you're going to be involved with a Cancer. Maybe this has something to do with a Cancer. Because look how she's holding the sword, almost like she's banging the sword back and forth in her hand. Like, just watch out. I'm in charge. So maybe you're going to have an altercation with a Cancer, and that's why I got confused with Cancer. But this is Scorpio. Stand in your own power, Scorpio. Know that you're true to your word. Know that you're true to your thoughts. Know that you're sitting in your own power, for sure. Okay? Okay, interesting. I got that confused. Now we're doing Pisces. Pisces, nice. Okay, so the very first card we get Pisces is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is really kind of like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You know you have your full cups next to you. You don't need to be concerned about the full cups that are next to you, right? You haven't opened them. You haven't looked at them, but you're not satisfied. You're sitting against a hill. You're thinking. You're writing in your journal. You're getting ideas, and you're waiting for that hand to come down to hand you that fourth cup. That's what you've been waiting for, right? That's the information you've been waiting for on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and that's what's coming forward. This could directly be about the um, election, I'm hearing very clearly from my spirit guides, okay? So it could be that you have all the information. Maybe you're a poll worker. Maybe you're an election worker. Maybe you're a campaigner, somebody who's been helping out. And finally, uh, it's going to come into wish, to fruition on Tuesday. We may not know who president is, but we may have a good a good. Uh, feeling and that's that cup that's coming down from heaven to give you the information you need while you're journaling so take that as an as an advantage um, the lovers is the second card this could literally be um, the lovers Pisces this could literally be about um, having a wonderful relationship with somebody but I'm hearing the waters are so calm and I'm hearing this is more about um, you showing your inner self to someone. You showing the vulnerable belly side of yourself is what I'm hearing on Wednesday, Thursday. So this is letting go and not having to take control, Pisces, not having to take the lead, allow, so, allowing somebody else to take the lead. Your spirit guides are telling me there's a couple of you that this has to do with fertility. So it could be that you're getting pregnant. It could be that you're finding out you're pregnant. It could be that you're having a baby this week. Um, it starts on 11-1, full moon is the night before, so it could very well be that, but the waters are nice and calm, everything's going to be perfect, the sun is shining, so it's going to be lovely on Wednesday, Thursday, okay, and the end of the week is the four of pentacles, fours are always about the angels being around you, I always believe that with fours, so the angels are, are totally around you, around this person, it could be a man that's coming into your life that's going to show you some guidance at the end of the week, on Friday, Saturday, it could be, um, uh, the pentacles, Pentacles is all about money, and you're growing. You're in the middle of growing them. You're in the middle of, of collecting them. 
He's collecting them on his tray. Um, it could be abundance of money. It could be abundance of career. It could be abundance of love. It could be abundance of good health. Whatever it is, um, it's it's going to be just a wonderful weekend. Okay? Whenever you've got pentacles on a weekend, I consider that to be a really good thing. Okay, Pisces? So enjoy your week, you guys. I mean, I think this for all the water signs, I think it's going to be a really wonderful week. Um, like I said, subscribe with the notification button. I'll be on this evening at 7 o'clock to do some readings. It's Thursday, and I hope you'll join us. That's Eastern Standard Time. And also, so hit the subscribe and the notification button. You'll be notified when I come on. Also, I hope some of you will sign up for that wonderful class under um, the um, Donations of Love, $25 for the half-hour Crystal Reiki healing session with me. I'm a Crystal Reiki master. And then kind of a get together with everybody on Zoom in our community, which is really nice to talk about things that go bump in the night is what I like to say. Um, the, of course, the donations of love button is down there below. That's um, what I was talking about for the class, but you can also donate if you'd like to donate for new cards, for new candles, for crystals, for things that I use. Um, this is a powerful crystal I'm putting out to make sure that it gets charged on Sunday. It's called Cinnabar. It's wonderful to bring in healing energy that I'm going to use on Sunday night. Um, and if you look, you can see the, the clear quartz at the bottom. It's beautiful, beautiful crystal. And it really gets at the root chakra. That's what I love. I tend to use all different crystals when I'm doing Reiki healing based on the different chakras, um, based on the colors of the chakras that I have in a, in a basket and I use. So I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll have a great week uh, this week. And um, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.